going to do from here is now the ball, like the coach feeds the ball and you just go and hit it. Hey guys, this is the board from Tennis House. Uh, nice to have you here watching the video. Um, we just recently did a video about the forehand and we we're going to put seven, the seven stages are picked to, as a checkpoint on uh, you can check it out it's going to be very helpful for intermediate beginner players and events players and one of the parts was the rotation the shoulder rotation and not keeping the elbow too close and have like this internal rotation use what you see when when you when you see from the other side the players racket behind here so um that's a common mistake and there are several reasons for that and one of them is that you start with the elbow too close to the body and I'm gonna show you now you were asking yourself probably why do I have a ball I'm gonna show you now a nice uh, drill you can do to keep the elbows out you can do it like this way when you turn or you can use a little help because kids are they like to feel things and they like to do things so when you look at this I have this ball in here right now so now to put with the ball here I cannot go there, it doesn't allow me, right? So when I'm out here, the pro feeds the ball, then I'm gonna go from here, drop it and swing. And again, you put the ball under the armpits, you get the player, you get the player to rotate, and then all you're gonna do from here is now, the, ball, the coach feeds the ball, and you just go for it and hit it. So with the ball under the armpit, you will most likely not have the arms like this and go back like this. So that's just a little help for beginner players, adults, as, like as men especially, we try to muscle everything. So that's gonna be a nice help to feel like, oh, they're not, there must be something, and I need to have the arms out right here. And I try to stay on this right side. And when you do that with the ball, you have it on here. As soon as the hips snap in and you drop the racket hat, the ball is gonna fall out and you can hit it. And what I tell my players always is, when you're in this position here, when let's say we have the ball right in here now, so try to stay on this outside here. So try to even pull later on, like when you're here, you can go have a little loop here, but stay on this outside. And then I always call this like a power line. You can stay on this line. If you pick a line right there, that's going right here. You stay on this line can go higher if you want to and then you drop and hit try not to go too far around so it all starts at the beginning if someone is not capable to keep the arms out at the beginning with the shoulder rotation or they're not capable you know to get the elbow out here that helps as well then put a ball under the armpits to here and let them hit and drop the ball they will learn it with the time and especially kids will learn quicker if you let them feel things they're like sponges so that's very important i hope that helped you guys as always subscribe to our channel put the notification button on that's the best way to support our channel if you like what we do uh, yeah thank you guys and i wish you a great evening